Yeah, awkward situations suck. <clears throat> I don't know how to start this video. Cue the intro. Alright, before I start, change your profile picture to one of these on the screen. I've been seeing some of y'all on the internet. Keep it up. We gotta expand the we gotta expand the tribe, expand the jarmy. If you don't do it, you suck. Okay, one place that I think will always be awkward are elevators. Everything about it is just so uncomfortable. I'd be on campus to see an open elevator, right? But there'll be a lot of people in there. So now I don't know if I should squeeze myself in or if I should just wait for the next one. So the whole time you're walking to the elevator, you're unsure if you're even gonna go inside. You can see the unsureness in your walk. You're walking forward and you're like, you know what? I shouldn't go, I shouldn't go. You know what? Maybe I'll go in, maybe I'll go in. No, I should I shouldn't go in, I shouldn't go in. <laughs> and everyone in the elevator looking at you like you <laughs> like you crazy. And whenever you finally decide to go in, you can just see the look on everyone's face in the elevator going like, ugh. Cause they saw you from a mile away and were hoping you would just wait for the next one. And the thing is, sometimes they bold enough to not even wait for you. Once I was walking towards the elevator and it started to close, right? So I'm thinking the girl that was standing right there is gonna hold the door for me. But nah, she just let it close and the last thing I saw was her nasty smile. All I see is ding. And the awkwardness continues once you actually get inside the elevator. If it's packed, you gotta stand extra still so you don't accidentally touch somebody. And I gotta be extra careful being black and being a YouTuber. If my hand so much as swipes someone else's elbow, I'm going to jail! So I'm in there standing as stiff as possible. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm trying to hold my breath so I'm not breathing on anybody. Finally get to my floor. But guess what? The awkwardness doesn't stop. Cause now you gotta figure out how to get through this tight crowd of people before the door closes again. Every time I walk out of the elevator, I drop to my knees like I just beat a murder trial. Freedom. Freedom! Elevators are just all bad, bro. Like at this point, I'd rather take the stairs. I don't care if the destination's on the top floor. I'd rather get the class dripping in sweat and shaky knee like I just left a ditty party than take the elevator. Another thing that actually happened to me recently that I find awkward is whenever I go inside a gas station store. I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but I be feeling so suspicious when I'm in there, feeling like I'm doing something wrong. Like I'll walk in, it's just me and the cashier. And I be feeling like <laughs> the cap <laughs> I be feeling like the cashier thinks I'm finna steal. Cause the aisles be so tight and the shelves are so tall, so the cashier can't see that I'm just trying to find where the honey packs are. So as far as I know, he thinks I'm back here stealing. It's funny, like I'll try my best not to look suspicious and in doing so I end up looking more suspicious. I'll keep looking at the cashier, maybe smile at him a few times just to show I'm a good guy. And now he thinks I'm smiling at the fact that I just stole 10 Twinkies under his nose. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be walking out the store just expecting a SWAT team to tackle me to the ground every time. Another awkward moment I'm sure all of you have been through at least once is when you know you did bad on a test and your teacher has to hand it back to you. The whole ordeal sucks. Sometimes I think about just not coming to class so I don't have to go through it. The teacher starts passing out the test and just by how they say your name, you know you're cooked. Jason, here you go. Mark, is Mark here? Oh, there you go, you did good. Jaw. And then they pass it to you upside down and folded like they pass you the nuclear codes. And you find out why when you open it and find out you got a two on the test. And it doesn't stop there because you got to read all the notes the teacher left on your test. Bro, <laughs> bro, one of my answers on a quiz, the teacher wrote in red ink. What? <laughs> I'm so cooked, bruh. And then they'll go up to the front of the class and be like, okay, I passed out all the tests. The class is very good for the most part. And you can see them try, <laughs> trying their hardest not to make eye contact with you. Now, every time you walk in class, you gotta live with the fact that you and the teacher have a little secret, a little secret about how you're a dumb dumb. You might relate to this next one if you go to school on a crowded campus. You'll ever be walking just minding your business and then somebody on a skateboard or a bike starts hurtling your way, leaving you seconds to come up with your next move. Bro, this happens to me like once a week. Gotta dodge every mode of transportation just to get to class. This situation is so awkward because like someone on a skateboard would be rolling towards me. And now I'm in a quick time event because I don't know whether to stay on my path and let them go around me or if I should move first. Feels like I'm cutting wires on a bomb because if I make the wrong decision, skater dude's gonna perform a dark slide on my face. And every time I decide, okay, I'm just gonna stay on this path and he's gonna go around me. The skater decides to continue barreling towards me to the last second. It looks back at me like I'm crazy. Watch where you're going, man. Why are you skating in a crowded area in the first place? Bro, think this is a Disney movie. He probably got some generic Disney movie song playing in his ear while he skate talking about some. Say it ain't so, I will not go. Turn the lights off, carry me. Okay, this next one is the reason why I hate leaving my house. It's so awkward when I go out in public and see someone I know, but at the same time, I don't know. Let me explain. I go to the store to buy some stuff, right? And as I'm walking down the aisles, I make eye contact with someone that looks familiar. Turns out it's someone from my eighth grade English class. See, I know who they are, but the thing is we aren't friends. Like we've never actually spoken to each other. So now I'm in this awkward position wondering, do I say hi to this person or do I act like I don't see him? And it's like, no matter what option I choose, it ends bad. So I decide, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna say anything. And then I'll go home and be like, ah, man, they probably think I'm a horrible person now. They probably think I'm evil. I should have said hi. But then if I decide, you know what? I'm gonna say hi. It's worse. Yo, remember me? We, we was in the same eighth grade class. Ew. 
<sighs> man, I, I gotta get out of this town, man. This happens so often. Yeah, y'all better subscribe and make me rich so I can move to Dubai or something. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, this last one is kind of specific to me. So every now and then I'll be talking to somebody, you know, just basic small talks. It's somebody I don't know like that. And then they'd ask, oh, what do you work at? As you may have noticed, I'm a YouTuber. But it's not like I just go around telling random people this, right? The only people that I know about this are people close to me. So I'm out here moving like Hannah Montana. I'm over here juggling two identities. Every time I walk out the house, all I hear is, You get the best of both worlds. So when someone asks me where I work, I mean, I don't lie about it, but like I start off pretty vague and just hope they don't ask for more details. I'll start off by just saying, oh yeah, I edit videos. But then they'd be like, oh, so people pay you to edit their videos. No, not exactly. I make my own videos. But now I'm in a pickle because if I just leave it at that, they're going to walk away thinking I got an OnlyFans. So that's when I eventually be like, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. And you're probably sitting there thinking, dude, if I were you, I would be flexing so hard showing everyone how many subscribers I got. Bro, <laughs> being a YouTuber in 2024 is not as cool as it was a few years ago. Do y'all not see how every week another YouTuber gets exposed for some type of allegation? Telling people I'm a YouTuber ain't cool no more. Might as well tell people I work at the Diddy District. These weirdo YouTubers ruin the internet clout aura for everyone else. So now I got to act like Peter Parker hiding the fact that I make funny stickman stuff. And I learned pretty early on that telling everyone that I come across about my YouTube channel doesn't really have any benefits. Anyways, yeah, that's the video. Like, subscribe, watch my other videos. Stop making things awkward. Yeah, you can leave now. <clears throat> this is job post-production uh i just wanted to come on here and say uh because i realized i never really spoken one-to-one -one with y'all unless y'all be on my twitch streams but i'm yeah i'm just looking at this fan art i'm like dang like y'all are really talented y'all take the time to like to draw me I, I make stick figures like this is crazy i just want to say thank you to not just the people that make the fan art just to everybody that watches the channel even if you're not even subscribed even if you just even, even if this is your first time watching thank you bro just want y'all to know that i'm grateful and stuff i'm in school right now which is why i'm not uploading as often as it was during the summer but i just wanted to let y'all know that i'm grateful that i could just like <laughs> make dumb cartoons and y'all can y'all watch them and stuff so yeah appreciate all of that okay it's a video about to hit eight minutes okay perfect i can stop yapping now but no nah, I, I really meant what i said i really meant what i i just wanted to hit eight minutes but i really meant what i said <laughs> thank you for all the support